Hi, I'm Westchester County Executive George Latimer. This month, we're highlighting the contributions of the Latino community in Westchester County. My guest for this conversation is Martha Lopez. Martha serves as the Director of Minority and Women-Owned Businesses Thank and Immigrant so Affairs. Much. Thank you so much for having this conversation, and it is so great to celebrate uh, Hispanic Heritage uh, Month. Let's talk a little bit about the music and the culture in the Latino community, which I understand is diverse because you have people coming from many different countries that, uh, that come together at this moment. We have 20 Spanish-speaking countries here in the United States represented, all of them here in Westchester. I'm very proud, yes. I'm very proud of my parents uh, that they, they managed to like bring their ideas here. And my name is Cliff Dominguez. Uh, my family owned Cafe Vera Cruz and Sundance Kitchen here in uh, White Plains. We have, you know, tamales. We have a uh, roasted chicken, the, the chilaquiles, the beans. And my family is originally from uh, Puebla, Mexico. We specialize in like Mexican dishes, you know, Puebla dishes. Okay, so this is the machine we use to make our tamales. The hoja, the the leaf she uses, she's grabbing the masa, and she's grabbing pork with mole over there. Filling it up over here, and this is the tamale. So now she rolls it up in the aluminum. Making the tamale. La gente viene a comer de diferentes países. People from different, different, uh, you know, different uh, places, they come and eat, they try our seasoning, they try our food, they, they really love it. And uh, that means a lot to her, it means a lot. Now we know that businesses have been affected across the board uh, of all types. The COVID shutdowns of 2020 were dramatic and even when we pulled out of the COVID, we haven't been at a full 100%. We did close down during COVID we, for quarantine. We managed to come back, people started coming back. Let's talk a little bit about the leadership in the Latino community and, and the role that education plays in helping uh, people understand the challenges at hand and addressing those challenges. I want to talk about one organization that helps so much with education and that is Latino U. Our work is so important to make sure that students have the tools that they need to be successful. My name is Cosette Gutierrez and I'm the Executive Director of Latino U College Access here in White Plains, New York and I'm a proud Dominican American. Only 24% of Latino adults have a college degree. We've seen our students go to schools as close as Pace and NYU to as far as Stanford and University of California. Over 56% of our students have decided to pursue STEM, which is really important, and they're joining ex exemplary companies right here in Westchester County. As a first-generation Latino graduate myself, I remember how important it was for me to return to my community. It's important for young people to have good role models that they can aspire and see that it is possible for them to achieve uh, success. I rise to especially congratulate the judge Walter Rivera from my district in Greenberg. Through education and stick to itiveness, rose to become not only a lawyer, but the first. Uh, Puerto Rican judge, the first Hispanic judge in the town of Greenberg. My name is Walter Rivera, and I am a judge of the New York State Court of Claims. And my parents both came from Puerto Rico, and I now live in the town of Greenberg, Westchester County. So Latinos have played an important part in all aspects of this country, in the legislative branch, the executive, and on the bench. Latinos here in this county have made significant contributions and uh, want the same opportunity that everyone else has. Go for the moon, go as far as you can. And even if you fail, sometimes you learn more from taking a step back as long as you get up and keep going. <laughs>